I'm Dr. Mitchell Alden, practicing medical oncologist in Buxton, Montgomery County for the last 20 years. I'm board certified in medical oncology and did my training at the Fox Chase Cancer Center. Cancer patients have historically been treated with cytotoxic chemotherapy drugs. Those drugs work on cancer cells by the virtue of the fact that cancer cells cannot repair themselves with, when injured. Unfortunately, chemotherapy, because of its general toxic effect, affects normal cells as well as cancer cells. We've already seen significant impact from small molecule therapy. It's what we call targeted therapy. These are generally pill form treatments that are well tolerated with minimal side effects. The reason the side effects have been curtailed so significantly when compared to previous treatment modalities is that they, they act on a specific gene. Since the development of the Human Genome Project, we've had technologies emerge that allow us to evaluate individual pieces of DNA. Those DNA evaluations have allowed us to discover specific mutations which cause cells to behave in a cancerous fashion. When patients are diagnosed, tissues are obtained from their tumors. Those tissues can be evaluated a number of different ways. We often identify where a cancer has come from by the fingerprint of proteins that occur on the surface. That type of technology is called immunohistochemical staining. That's been around for years and years. But more recently, we've been able to take the same tissue specimens and send them to very specialized labs, which have developed technology called next-gen sequencing. Next-gen sequencing is uh, a way of using computers to evaluate the specific code of, of cancer genes. And when we can evaluate those specific codes, we can often find an abnormality that could be targeted with a specific oral therapy. In patients with advanced cancer, there's often a struggle to balance quality of life with survival. The value of targeted therapy is because of a lower toxicity profile and the inability of the cancer to progress by blocking the genes that allow it to grow, we can provide patients with longer survival and excellent quality of life.